Alright, today I'm going to show you how to do a speed ramp on Adobe After Effects CX6. So, let's get started. So, what you're going to do is open up Adobe After Effects, and then you're going to want to import your file, the clip that you want to ramp. Then you're going to go to Import, go to File, and the file you want to choose is going to be either an MOV, MP4, whichever one. In this case, I'm using a DV. I'm going to open that. And then, so your clip's in here, so you want to drag it down right here. I'm going to right click on this to actually do the ramp. And I'm going to go to Time and enable Time Remapping. So once you got that, we'll be able to actually make the ramp. So once that's there, you're going to want to go to, to where you actually want to start it. I'm going to start it right about there. Add a keyframe. That's, and then I'm going to add my next one. Right about there. <laughs> and then so, so we're going to go to like this graph editor. And then this is going to be the actual section you're going to ramp. So what you're going to want to do for this is you're going to press Shift. You're going to Shift click right about next to it. Doesn't matter. You just got to be pretty close to it. And then you're just going to drag straight out about to wherever you want. I'm going to do it right about to this 60% oh, of the speed. So once I got that, it should look just like a rectangle. Like that. And then after that, you're going to going to press shift again. So once you press that, you're going to click right about here. And I'm going to drag straight up along this line. It should make a curve. And then you got that, and then you click it, so it'll make everything gray. And then, this is where the ramp part comes from. And then, you're going to do the same exact thing for this side. You're going to do shift, click on the gray dot, and bring it straight up. And make sure it hits exactly one second. So, it's one second right there. So, once we got that, the ramp is pretty much done. It's not a very hard process. So it's done so we can look at it do a ramp preview and you can uh... you can make it as deep as you want you can make it really slow but sometimes it can look like crap like really laggy so i'm just gonna bring it back up and then once we got that, we're gonna actually make it so we can actually use it in a in an editing system like Final Cut or iMovie. So what we need to do for that is go to Render Queue if that's not there already. You need to go to Composition and then uh, add to Render Queue. But Render Queue is right here, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go to Composition, the one I just made, the thing I composed, and then I'm gonna like, drag it down straight straight right here just nothing nothing dramatic and then once you have that you're gonna go to output module and you absolutely have to go to losses because if you don't go to losses if you don't click on it you're not gonna have any audio but to have audio all you need to do is just click on audio output and it's got everything right here it's all sorted out for you so nothing there just click on audio output click OK and then I'm just gonna name this tutorial ramp and then put it in my ramp file and then just after that should be able to render there we go so once you have that you can just you can just click out of Adobe After Effects yeah you can save it or don't save it I don't usually save it so then once that you can Go up to your spotlight and search tutorial ramp. And just click on it. And it's rendered right here. So uh, that was a tutorial on how to do a ramp in Adobe After Effects. It's not too hard, it just takes a little bit of practice. And uh, I hope this helped you out a lot. So if you have any questions or comments, just just tell me in the comment section below and thanks for watching.